What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Creative Destruction video. Okay, so I'm going to just keep this video totally raw, guys. I'm going to put some gameplay behind me of a PC game I, uh, I won. And I'm basically just going to talk to you about what we want in Creative Destruction Season 11. Season 10 has almost come to an end. It's been a sort of okay season. We've had, like, the new pump shotgun that's been added, the double pump. Um, we've had the motorcycles that have been added. Nothing amazing. Um, we definitely want a lot more to change in season 11 so in this video i'm basically just going to go over everything that i feel like that uh, needs changing in creative destruction i'm also going to put in the comments down below i'm going to number each one so i want you guys to comment down below um, exactly which one you what well, which one you want most to change i'm going to number them in the comments and all you need to do is just comment that number before I start, just make sure you hit a subscribe and hit a like. I'm doing my best to try and change the game for you guys and speaking to the devs and try to get them to improve the game for you. So I really appreciate it if you could just hit the like button. So hopefully the, guy, the developers will uh, see this video and they'll actually listen to these changes. Not only that, make sure you follow my official Discord as well. The uh, link is in the description and in the comments too. Uh, we do a weekly 500 diamond giveaway. Uh, now I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to talk about what changes we need in Creative Destruction. So we're going to start with number one, the map. Basically, some uh, in, in the past, we had an old map from like season one to four, I believe. And then season four or five, I can't remember exactly which season, they upgraded the classic map to the new map, the new classic map. The new classic map looks good. It looks much better than the old map. The detail is much better. But when the developers actually brought this in, it made everything super laggy. Uh, the main problem with lag in this game is when you get close to an enemy with the servers. So if you're watching this developers, I think the new map is fine. I feel like a lot of people want the, want the old map back just to be able to not lag as much. So maybe you guys can just pull it in a custom game mode, just the old map. So we can actually play it with no lag in the uh, in the custom game mode. And then you don't have to change your new map. I know the developers have put a lot of work into the new map, but um, it, it's just too laggy for some people. Even my PC, I've got a really high end PC. Um, amazing graphics card, amazing CPU, amazing RAM, and I still lag. Um, and that shouldn't be happening on a PC like mine. Uh, so I can only imagine how bad it is for you guys that have got low-end PCs. So if you're going to bring a new map, there, there's a couple of choices. You can either make a, new, a brand new map, make it really small, uh, so there's not much detail in it, so it won't lag as much. Or put the old classic map into a custom game mode so we can actually play the old map. Now, number two, uh, we've had edits in the game for a while now. They definitely need to be sorted out. Uh, the edits in the game, I made a previous video on it. In Biltopia, there, there's new edits that the developers will probably add along the line uh, into Creative Destruction. Uh, so the new edits are definitely needed. But we also need some new uh, building mechanics as well. Now, I've seen a lot of people uh, doing this new build uh, to get high ground really quickly. And in a game like this, it, I don't think it's needed. I know a couple of other YouTubers have complained about it as well, which is the wall floor technique where you put a wall out and if you put a wall out your your character can actually jump up and put a floor so you can get high ground you can floor wall floor wall floor wall and get it to the sky really quickly all you gotta do developers is change this change it so the height of the builds aren't as uh, as high as you can jump so people aren't going to be able to use this so they have to do it the old-fashioned way they have to use 90s uh, and other ways because it is good to some of the pro, I mean, some of the pro players say it's like the, the, the meta and it's really good, but I think it's just, it doesn't need to be in the game. The floor, floor wall, floor wall, it should be deleted. And I think you guys will agree with me as well. Okay, number three, getting on to the next thing is the guns in the game. So uh, we've had sort of the same guns since like season two of Creative Destruction and it's season 10 right now. I'm just going to tell you guys what guns I want removed straight away. The guns don't need to be in the game. Just think about it, guys. The more guns are in the game, that just means more game files and more lag for you developers, okay? So all you have to do, I'm going to give you a list right now of guns you need to delete. Plasma SMG doesn't need to be in the game. Power Rifle doesn't need to be in the game. The Archer Bow does not need to be in the game. The Stinger SMG 
was good at the start, but now no one uses it, so that needs to be deleted. You don't need it anymore. Same as the photon emitter. We don't need the photon emitter anymore. Uh, the cake grenades as well. The grenades are absolutely ridiculous. You can hold five grenades in each slot, and you've got a total of five slots. So that means you can hold 25 grenades. So many people just spam grenades. You should only, look at all the other battle royales out there, you should only be able to carry a maximum of two of each grenade. Um, so get rid of the cake grenades, get rid of the napalm grenades, because they're just ridiculous. The fire just goes through builds as well. Um, same as the flamethrower, so that's ridiculous. Maybe that should be removed as well. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about that. Uh, get rid of those, make the grenades so you can only hold two grenades. Maybe three. But two is the optimum, uh, I believe. Now, next is the number four, sorry, is the gadgets. Gadgets are just ridiculous. There is just so many gadgets in this game. You've got an auto pickup gadget feature as well, which means every time you, you literally pick up every single gadget. So when you're trying to flick through to try and, I don't know, use your coke propeller, you have to go through about 10 other gadgets first. So... I am going to give you another list of uh, gadgets that need to be removed. Uh, some of the old ones as well. The armed drone is pointless. Hardly anyone uses it. Get rid of it. The thermal sensor, the newest one that they've added in. Get rid of that as well. The robot beehive is pointless because you've already got gr the grenades to blow up builds. The springboard, you don't even need that in the game anymore. That The springboard was out in the first couple of seasons of CD. Or in like season 2 and 3. But now we've got the egg chairs. No one uses it because the egg chairs are much better because you can control the direction. Um, the landmines. There's no point in having landmines and the gas bombs. Pick one of the two. Delete one of them. Either delete the gas bombs and keep the landmines. Or delete the landmines and keep the gas bombs. Next, the doll decoy. No one uses the decoy anymore. Um, I don't think it's it's kind of pointless as well. Um, the champagne propeller that you go backwards on is really pointless because you can't even see where you're going backwards. So that, delete it. And also the sound interference device as well. No one really uses that. It's really stupid and it's just another pointless gadget. So there's a list of gadgets that I want removed. It's going to make the game a lot smoother removing all of these guns and gadgets as well. Um, again, let me know in the comments vote on that and uh, let me know if you agree with me all right now going on to some other smaller ones uh, emotes in the game uh, i believe that emotes uh, number five sorry emotes are, that there's not enough emotes in the game there, there's some good emotes like don't get me wrong but look at the likes of fortnite they add is they add like new emotes every week um so i feel like you should add some more emotes in the game just to spice it up and you know just to entertain the the, the players a bit more uh, number six uh the the skins in the game as well i feel like uh, you need to add into the game more stuff that people can earn stuff with. I know you want a lot of money, and I know it's a company that needs money to run and sustain itself, but you just make too many skins and charge uh, crazy amounts of diamonds for, which is insane. Like, one skin I saw the other day was, like, over $10. A lot of kids play this game, a lot of kids don't have that money, so make it an option in the game. You're going to get a lot more players play the game if you just add in the game ways to earn skins that'll make it so more people will play the game to actually earn the skins they want maybe let make a separate category on the left hand side in the lobby where you've got a list of skins and you have targets on each separate skin like the Dawnbreaker, you've got to do some certain targets to get that skin it, it'll be hard to get don't get me wrong make it really hard to get but Use that as a sort of template and a lot of people will really, really enjoy that. All right, now number seven is the Creative Island. You guys uh, changed the Creative Island uh, to a much bigger map. As you can see behind me right now, it doesn't even need to be bigger. The old Creative Island was perfect. This new map makes it so laggy. Uh, it makes it even more laggy than the old one. The other one was really smooth. The smaller one, you could 1v1 easier in it. You could do box wars easier in it. This big map, you struggle to find people as well. I know you've got the flight mode where you can fly around and try and find people, but it's stupid because it's just too big. Maybe it'd just make it a little bit bigger than the older one, but the older one was perfect. It had everything you needed. It had good space. You could create stuff in it. You had a lot of space to create stuff as well. So I feel like, yeah, you... you, you, you it was sort of a bad move making the uh, creative island map bigger so go back to the original or go back to the original make it slightly bigger so next as well number eight which is probably my final one and probably the most important one i know a lot of you guys will be commenting down below uh, number eight because it's the lag issue 
So you guys have had 10 seasons to try and sort out the lag in this game, okay? Basically, the lag occurs. I can tell you exactly when the lag occurs, which is when you come into close contact with an enemy. A lot of you guys will notice as well, when you're running around on your own and there's no enemies around you in your radius, you don't lag whatsoever. The FPS is a beautiful 60 plus. When you come close to an enemy, you lag like hell. I go from like 60 plus FPS down to like minus 20, sometimes less than 10 FPS, which makes the game impossible to play. And the main aspect of the game, guys, is to kill enemies. So you have to get close to them. You can't just camp for the whole game. Well, some of you can, but I don't like doing that. And a lot of you guys don't like doing that as well. So the lag issue, just please sort it out. It, it's an urgent matter. It should be the number one priority before adding anything else. You should be developers. You should be putting your full force into sorting out the lag in the game. This is what essentially a couple of seasons ago ran all of the players off the game and made them delete the game is just the lag and the lag is because you're adding all of this new stuff in you're adding new stuff into the map you're adding new guns you're adding new gadgets you're adding all this new stuff that doesn't need to be in there so the less of that the less lag there will be but there's also the server lag you guys need to suck i don't know if you guys have ports in certain countries but you need to make it so the server lag is better when you're coming the lag only occurs when you come in close contact with someone so it has to do with the server obviously yeah it may lag slightly if i'm i'm in the uk and i'm playing against someone or i come close to someone who's in africa you know it, obviously you're going to get a bit of lag but not as much lag as it gets where it goes down to like minus 10 fps um so that is basically the end of the video, guys. I feel like these are just the big changes that need to happen in Creative Destruction. If these changes don't happen six months from now to a year from now, I can't see anyone playing Creative Destruction. There's going to be newer, better games coming out. Omega Legends is really, really good. So Creative Destruction, if you're going to be able to compete with Omega Legends and you want to carry on going, make sure you admit some of these changes because you need to incorporate these. It's just, it's just not on. So that's the end of the video, guys. Again, I'm keeping it raw. Vote below what exactly... Uh, well, comment below the number of the most important um, thing you want changed in Creative Destruction. And that's basically it. Make sure you hit that like just to get the developers to see this a bit more. Be subscribed and I'll keep you up with all of the latest info on CD. And I will see you guys in the next video. Yeah, boy!